Hello world, this is your boy Hack Attack, aka Kai. So let's get started with using Amazon SES to send some emails out. And if you don't know it already, well, Amazon SES is their simple email service over here, so you don't have to configure a email server, you don't have to use um, a service like uh, Microsoft Exchange or anything like that, but instead you can do it here. So one thing that I am going to assume that you have done already is um, you purchased a domain somewhere and you have a um, like some DNS record sets, oops, and you have an area where you can go ahead and mess around with that. So I'm using Route 53 and you're going to see that this is really streamlined, this process, because I am using Route 53 because it's another Amazon um, service, so it integrates really nicely with SES. So the first thing that you have to do is verify a domain, and as always, pull up some um, documentation for this. So one of them is going to be um, sending email with Amazon SES, and then we're going to configure an email client. So because I'm using a Mac in this uh, video, we're going to be using something called Thunderbird, which is a free client. So let's get started. So in the SES service over here in the dashboard, we need to first verify a domain. So you click domains over here, and then you're going to verify a domain. And now the domain that we're going to want to verify is wonderinghack.com. And the reason that I'm remaking this video is before I had www.wonderinghack.com, and I was having some issues with the email address because instead of being from something like contact at wonderinghack.com, it was contact www.wonderinghack.com, which was not really adding up with the email that I had configured. So we're going to leave it as this, wonderinghack.com. We're going to generate the DCAM settings over here, and we're going to verify this domain. And um, we're going to use Route 53, and it's going to give us these uh, automatic records that we're going to want to configure. And now we could go ahead and also because the next video will be using um, SES to receive email as well and save it to an S3 bucket. So we could just go ahead and create that record here, but we'll do it manually in the next one. So I'm going to create that record set, and the hosted zone that we're going to want to create this in is that uh, wondering hack over here, the one that I had. So we'll go to the hosted zones, we see it wonderinghack.com, and we're going to go ahead and create the record sets. Now once that's done, you're going to need to wait for it to um, verify everything, and because this is Amazon, and uh, Route 53 is really quick uh, with propagating uh, record sets. This will be verified relatively quickly. So over here now, if you reload this right here, you'll see that it created one, two, three, four record sets for us. And we're going to need a fifth one for that MX record. Uh, but like I said, we'll do that in the next video. So if you refresh, it may or may not be ver Oh, see how quick that was. It's already verified. So the next step is now we need to get some um, SMTP credentials. So we'll go to SMTP settings right here, and it's going to say create my SMTP credentials. Now once it does this, it's going to do a couple of things. So um, the, you can give it an IM username. So instead of having something like this, we can do SMTP contact um, one. Oops, wondering hack contact right there and then it's also going to say hey well we're also going to need to create another IAM well we're going to add an IAM policy to this user right here that's going to allow it to send raw email so I'm good with that we'll click create and you can show those SMTP credentials and this is the only time that you can um, view these so you can download the credentials which I'd advise and then you can also copy and then we'll do something like open up a text editor, and this just works. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it, and keep text only. Now we have both the SMTP username and the password, which we'll need. Uh, we're going to close this out. Now, before going any further, let's go back to SES over here, and let's send a test email. This is the dashboard for SES, of course, and one thing that you're going to want to note is when you look at the st sending statistics over here, by default, you're only allowed to send 200 emails per 24-hour period, but if you contact Amazon, they'll up that up for you because it's uh, first a sandbox. Um, you're in sandbox mode or whatever, and you need to contact them to bump it up. So now I get 50K per 24 hours, and I'm sure if I wanted to, I could bump that up even more if I had to, but I don't, I'm never going to send that much personally. I don't think so yet. So, sorry if I talk fast. Um, next thing that we are doing is let's go ahead and test this domain. 
and I'm going to send a test email to my email address. So the one that we're going to want to use for this one is contact at wonderinghack.com. And for those that are wondering, this is a travel blog that I'm toying with. So if I have dev.wonderinghack.com, you'll see that it goes to this website. And then I also have another subdomain, blog.wonderinghack. This is me. This is me. I know I don't show enough of my pretty face on these videos, but there we go. Um, so contact at wonderinghack.com. And then we're going to send it to my Yahoo account, which is a dinosaur at this point. I get it. Um, we're going to send a test email that's just going to be like, yo, mofo, how we go. So we're going to send that. And with any luck, this email is going to be received over here, which means that SES is configured to send emails now. Now we simply need to configure Thunderbird over here, this client. So as per the documentation, let's go to offline mode. Go to click later when it asks you if you want to download things. Um, you're going to want to create a new folder under local, so new folder, and this one's going to be called sent. I'm going to create that folder, and then we're also going to create one called drafts, and it's going to be a subfolder of local folders. Okay, and now the next thing that we want to do is we can right click and go to settings, or we can go to the same window by clicking account settings here. Uh, we're going to need to add a um, SMTP server over here, which is the simple mail transfer protocol uh, server in order to send some outbound emails and we can give it a description like uh, wondering hack SES SMTP server and the server name is going to be uh, if you go over here and you look at the configuring the email clients documentation it's going to say that the SMTP server is going to be a, a list from over here so you click this link and it's going to open up your SMTP endpoints and because in SES I created this in the Oregon region we're going to use the US West 2 SMTP endpoint which is this little fella here so go back in to Thunderbird and you're going to click the server name as that. It says to leave the port as 587. The connection type is going to be start TLS. Um, you're going to leave it as a normal password and the username that we're going to use is the SMTP username that we downloaded from SES. I'm going to click OK. Now we need to create and we're going to add a mail account. My name, the email address that we're going to use, um, we're going to leave it as is. Um, let me just read the documentation real quick because I'm not sure if we leave the remember password checked or unchecked. Add mail account. Leave the password fill blank and clear the checkbox where it says remember the password. Okay. Continue. Um, we're going to go to advanced config right here. And we're going to click the account settings right here, the email address, the account name, your name that you're going to want to use when um, people see you. So, for instance, if you want it to be something cool, like, I don't even know how to spell it, Kimosabe, but I'm going to leave it as my name, so just Kai Perez. Email address is fine. Um, the outgoing server is going to be the outgoing server that we just created. So there's the description right there, wondering hack SESS, uh, SES SMTP server. And we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. We're going to click, um, before clicking OK, we're going to go to the server settings and close this window a little bit. So um, we did all that. We're going to go to the account settings and it's telling us to, um, so we're going to want to save those sent emails in this sent folder that we created over here on this side. So to do that, we're going to go under Account settings, copies and folders. So server settings first though, sorry. So check for new messages at startup. You're gonna uncheck that, you're gonna uncheck that, you're gonna uncheck that. Go to copies and folders. Um, count settings, copies and folders. When sending messages automatically place in other and you're gonna choose that local folder which is the sent, okay. Um, so you can add multiple email accounts and it's all going to be saved under the local folders rather than be saved in somewhere that is created specifically for this email address here. So we're going to leave that as sent there and then message archives, we're going to uncheck that. And then under drafts and templates, we're going to also put it in that drafts folder that we created, so locals and then drafts. 
and we are good on that end. Click OK. Now if all is done correctly, we should be able to go online right here in the bottom left. And we're going to create a new message. And it's going to be the same email address. Test from Thunderbird. SES test. Hope this works because I don't want to make another recording. So we're going to send it. It's going to hopefully say, there we go, connected. We're going to use password manager to remember this password. Now we're going to go and get that SMT pa SMTP password that we had and we're going to click OK. And we're getting an error that says, hey, um, Retry, because sometimes you do have to retry. I think it sent. Didn't give me an error message. I'm not seeing anything bad. So if we go to the inbox, there we go. We see that we've configured Thunderbird to send some email. Um, it's the exact same email that we have here. So in the next video, what we're going to want to do is... We're going to want to create some rules over here to receive that email and then we're going to go to Route 53 and we're going to create an uh, MX record um, to let it know where to um, forward that email to. So like right now, if I go to reply, right on, good job, you can now finish your beer. We're going to click send and give it just a few seconds and you're gonna see we're gonna get a kickback email saying this is undeliverable right there so in the next video we'll go ahead and configure SES to save those messages so we can reply and it's gonna save it to um, something like S3 that's the best I can do for now and we can figure out some other strategies to fix that in the future alright guys thank you for watching and as always stay tuned hit that subscribe button that's the first time I've ever said that but gosh darn it I'm traveling and I want to make some money off this stuff now.